It is also possible to create some more advanced plots with Octave, for example quiver plots or a contour plots for visualizing vector fields. Here we have a list of all plot functions which are available in MATLAB. Most of them work in Octave as well, though sometimes the syntax might be a bit different. For example in MATLAB I write f implicit for plotting an implicit function and in Octave it is easy plot. But most of them work exactly this way. Here on the left we see the simple plot command which we have learned before. Also there are scattered plots or histograms which are, might be useful in statistics and we have pie charts and bar plots which are very similar to those available in Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice. As I already said, contour plots and quiver plots might be very useful for visualizing vector fields and we have surface plots for uh, scalar fields and uh, stream slice and streamlines might be useful as well. Other plots, for example, this uh, swarm chart 3, the scatter histogram or this var 3h are uh, not very important. I have never used them in my life. So let's start with plot 3. Plot 3 is a generalization of a simple plot command to which we have used before. Normally we would write plot x and y to plot a function in a two-dimensional space. Now we can write plot 3 and then x, y, z to plot a, a curve in three-dimensional space. So let's give an example. Let's say I want to plot a curve over the a time interval 0 to 6 pi and x is supposed to be 5 times cosine of t and y is 5 times sine of t. Now I define the z-coordinate as uh, 1 over 10 times t and plot this function with plot 3 x, y, z. This would open a window which and we have a spiral like that. If I write box on, it will draw a box in the background. And if I click on this button here, I can move it around and rotate it to see the uh, curve in three-dimensional space such that I can understand it better. Let's plot another function. If I want to add another function into the same feature, of course I have to use the command hold on, because otherwise the current plot will be deleted. I define x coordinate, this time I define x as t times cosine of t, and of course if I write it like this it won't work, because this multiplication will be interpreted as matrix multiplication, but now I have non-conformant arguments. If I want to do element-wise multiplication, which is what I want to do at the moment, I have to use the dot. The same for the y-coordinate, t dot times sine of t, and the z-coordinate can stay the same. So now the uh, Radius of the curve depends on the time it will, should become uh, the radius should become larger and larger over time. If I plot this with plot 3 x, y, z, I can see that it is a, a spiral. If I rotate this and look at this from above, I can see that the blue plot becomes a circle because the radius is constant and the orange one the radius uh, increases over time. So this is how you would plot a, a curve in three-dimensional space. Let's talk about the surface plot, which is the, can be done with the function surf. It should be looked like this. Basically, uh, what a surface plot is, is a, a function which is defined as z coordinate is f equals of x and y. So we need a function which depends on two parameters, x and y. To make it uh, simple, I will write a script this time. Um, let's call it 
äh, surf demo dot m we clear the screen and close the current feature and now I define the interval over which I want to plot which should be in this case um, from minus 8 to 8 so I write lin space minus 8 8 and 100 points the same for the y coordinate and now I have to explain the command mesh grid what does mesh grid do so if I define a uh, uh, vector for example x is equal to 1 5 and y is equal to uh, let's say 11 to 15 then when I have to uh, want to make a surface plot I obviously I have to iterate over each combination of x and y coordinate so I have to create a matrix which contains any combination of x and y coordinates. This can be done with the command mesh grid. To do so I write x, y in brackets equals to mesh grid x and y. Now we see that it uh, saved two matrices big X and big Y and for the matrix for the x coordinate it increases with each column and for the y coordinates it increases which eats each row. This means in these matrices the uh, each combination of x and y coordinate is saved. Now I can compute the z coordinate and plot this function. So if I want to plot a surface in three-dimensional space I always always have to use this mesh grid command it is incredibly important so let's copy it here now I define my uh, function so the z coordinate the fun function and before I do so I need the norm which can be calculated with x squared plus y squared note that I use the dot uh, operator because I want to do element wise um, uh, this operation. Now set is supposed to be the sine of r uh, divided by r. So r is basically the length of the vector. And now I can plot this with the command surf x y z. Now execute this surf demo and here we have a nice plot of our function. Again I can rotate it, inspect it such that I see how it is visualized in three-dimensional space. I want to do a few changes. First of all this black grid which is uh, drawn onto the plot is a bit ugly. I want to remove it. it this can be done with the command uh, shading interp. Interp is short for interpolation, so now it will remove this uh, grid. Also, I can change the color map, for example, with the command color map HSV. I will get such a color map from uh, orange to green, red, and blue, and violet. It's very colorful and very pretty, but if I want to annoy the colorblind people even more, I could use the map color map rainbow, which has this nice rainbow color, but is very, very bad for colorblind people, so this is unprofessional and should be avoided. Instead, it is a good idea to use a color map which only has two colors, for example, red and blue, or black and gray. Um, a color map which I could recommend would be the color map hot. Okay, so of course the uh, same commands like x label, y label from before work here as well. I'm not going to demonstrate them. I could also make a legend, but the legend would be a bit useless here because usually one 
uh, would plot only one surface instead of multiple ones, it would make more sense to add the title. Let's give it the title uh, a colorful hat because it looks like a hat, I think. So, um, I can uh, rotate it as I explained by clicking on this button, but I can also do this by um, uh, using the view command. If I write view and then uh, specify the angle, for example 50 degrees and 30 degrees, it will change the viewing angle to uh, the specified. Last but not least, it is also possible to uh, print this again into this file. Let's call it surfplot.png. Okay, so this is how you would make a surface plot. There are other plots available in uh, Octave. I do not have the time to go over all of them, but if you are interested, you can just click on the explanations here. For example, the quiver plot, here is the uh, explanation for the syntax. Then we have the description, quiver plots arrows with directional components, here we have Cartesian coordinates specified by X and Y. So if I scroll down, we have multiple examples. Here it plots uh, a vector field. Then we, uh, it explains how to disable the automatic scaling such that the length of the arrows is uh, different here. It is shorter here than here. And um, it is also possible to combine this sort of plot with the contour plot. The contour plot here, you see here, is the same which I uh, would obtain by using the control command here. So yeah, this is how you could uh, create advanced plots in Octave.